What's up guys, Kidmar95 here bringing you another episode. So this is just a quick technical analysis over the, uh, the coin named Cardano. Um, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but this is a link to the website. I was just scrolling through the market and I already owned some of this, but I don't know why I didn't post a video of it. So I'm basically just going to run through what it is. I'm sorry if you hear that uh, large like humming or buzzing noise. That's my laptop actually uploading the previous video. So let's uh, read through it real quick. Cardano is a decentralized public blockchain and cryptocurrency project and is fully open source. Cardano is a developing smart contract platform which seeks to deliver more advanced features than any protocol previously developed. It is the first blockchain platform to evolve out of uh, scientific philosophy and a research first driven approach. The development team consists of a large global collective of expert engineers and researchers. Cool, cool. So the project Cardano is a blockchain platform evolved out of a scientific philosophy. Our borrows, I don't know if I said that correct. Um, the first provably, provably secure proof of stake algorithm, peer reviewed by academics. Deadliest, deadliest. I don't know if I said that right either. The wallet will be able to run decentralized applications on blockchain. What the hell? Decentralized applications on blockchain. So this is their roadmap, and it looks like price is currently sitting at three fifty three. I'm actually looking to buy some in, during this video. So we're going to do that once this technical analysis is over. Whoa, I'm not going to read all of this. Let's see. The launch of Cardano marks almost two years of research over a year of development. IOHK has designed and built a cryptocurrency technology stack of completely new design with 100% new code. The technology is now in the buyer phase, also known as the bootstrap era. Cardano sell main net launch. So this launched about two months now. I would say uh, decentralized. Sorry about that. Wallet backend. We'll redesign the middle layer to improve it. I think this already happened. Or those are the details. But I was scrolling through this. This is just a quick video, guys. Um, because I um, I really I don't really have too much, and I'm still learning more about this. But look, there's a next update in ten days, and well, eleven days. 22 hours um, so if it's an update you know I'm assuming the update is going to be something good so and then I was also looking at um, this and it looks like we're currently sitting at 733 million um, that's our market cap and we have almost all of our coins in or total supply is 31 billion circulating or 25 but this is the max but what I also noticed is so we do have a kind of a high amount of coins and now we are still sitting at 29, 20, or 28, 29, almost up 7%. But check it out, guys. It's only on two uh, exchanges, Bitrix and Mr. Ripple. So I believe once this starts getting added to the other uh, exchanges, price is going to start to um, possibly, you know, double without any problem, you know, just because there's just going to be a lot more volume, more people trading it, you know, day in and day out. But this was pretty much their uh, website. What I wanted to, I'm actually gonna, this wallet actually caught my attention. The wallet will be able to run decentralized applications on the blockchain. I'll probably have to make a video on that. Uh, but let me see if I can go ahead and download that while I uh, show you guys some technicals. Uh, let's see, my laptop's being a little slow only because it's uploading the previous video. But here, let's, let's go head on over to the market here. But as you can tell, looks like we're about to form a very, very nice uh, big W. We go down and then up and down and then possibly back up. Um, we could break through or we could come back down to find support and then continue back up. Um, I do believe we will come back up to test this uh, 475 level. But it looks like, as you guys can tell, let's get a nice closer. Actually, let's get rid of these. Let's take a closer look at these candles. I'm actually looking to make a buy right now. Anyways, so as you can tell, it looks like we um, making a nice W. Looks like we have support here at about 328. Um, 
we formed a new high here at about what is that 490 came back down and we were stuck in a nice little bearish parallel channel uh, we're still stuck in it but if you really want to uh, this is actually the, the actual channel this which is kind of more of a trend line so let me go ahead and delete that so this is the channel we were stuck in um, as you can tell nice little bounces up down up down up down up down we did break out and it looks like we could be possibly finding support as you can tell here it was testing the the upper part of our channel here T bounced off it once twice three times it looks like we came down for the fourth time and we could be possibly heading up if um, I'm actually gonna take another buy into this now um, but I'm actually looking for this to head up to almost the 400 level and come back down once more and then continue up again um, as you guys can see I actually drew this overextended, really overextended um, uptrend line, starting from here to here, because this this is our W basically that's forming. Maybe you guys can see it a little bit more clearer now. But I feel like we're actually going to come back to test this trend line sometime in the future, so I'm actually going to leave that there. Um, but let's go back here and look, actually look at the hour now. So as you guys can tell, this next hour, this hour just started. Um, this is a new candle, a new hour candle. Looks like we have a lot of consolidation here, so looking like we're about to make a big move. And then the closer I look, it looks like we're just forming more uptrends. Uh, you know, higher lows being formed out of consolidation. So I am expecting a nice breakout towards the upside. Um, like I said, possibly... looking like we're going to see him move up towards here back towards the parallel the top of the parallel uh, bearish channel but that's pretty much it for today's video guys uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and buy some go ahead and confirm this right here uh, ADA by place ADA by fill Just working on it working on it working on it and it looks like my order is placed and my order has been filled about 3,879 more ADA. So, not yet, but bam, my order was filled, guys. Uh, but that was pretty much just another quick video. Um, the other one's actually still being uploaded. I just wanted to show you guys my technical analysis for this coin. Um, looking very bullish, just in my eyes. I'm no financial advisor, uh, but it looks like it's gonna break. Resistance right there. Nice little support here. Yeah, my eyes, guys, it just looks like it's going to break hard to the upside. Um, you guys just saw me take a buy. Uh, I'm not saying you should buy, but that's, you know, this is just my technical analysis and my personal journey uh, through Forex. But, uh, I mean, Forex and, you know, cryptocurrencies. But that's pretty much it for this quick video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and peace out. Take it easy.